Hello everyone, this is Rashida. Welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on how to handle null values. I have been talking about null values in several videos, in, actually in all my machine learning videos. If you have null values in your data set, then you are going to get errors in your machine learning model. So it is very important that you deal with null values before you get into machine learning. In most of my machine learning videos, I used the clean data sets from Kaggle, where we didn't have any null values or hardly few of them. But in real world, you will hardly find any data set that clean. So it is very important to learn how to deal with null values. Today we are going to use the famous Titanic data set. The Titanic dataset is available in Seaborn library. So I am importing Seaborn here. With sns.loadDataset method, you can load the Titanic dataset. Here is our Titanic dataset. And first, let's check how much null values we have today. Titanic.isNull.sum is going to give you how many null values we have in each variable. And we have a lot of them. Age 177 null values, back 688, and Broadtown we have two. Let's learn how to deal with it. I will start with the simplest and most naive ways first, and slowly we'll move towards some more complex and more efficient methods of dealing with null values. The simplest and most naive way of dealing with null value is just simply drop all the rows with null values. Uh, here I am doing that, titanic.dropNA, that's going to delete all the rows that has null values. And if I do that, I have only 182 rows left, where initially I had 891 rows, so most of the rows are deleted. And you can see that why it is so naive, you actually cannot do that all the time. If you have only a few or a couple of null values, you can probably delete it, but when we have that many null values, we just cannot delete all these rows. There is another naive way is just filling out the null values with any value. Here you can see 999 or maybe 0 or some values that isn't one of the values you already have. Like this is age. Age cannot be 0 or age cannot be 999. That's too much, isn't it? That is an indication that this was null. So this is an indication to yourself and also if you do any kind of visualization or even if you're doing a machine learning model. So you tell the model or inform the model beforehand that these were null values. There are a few other ways of filling up null values. This is a forward fill. The forward fill means you can fill the null values from the value behind it. Before this null value, we had 19. So you can fill this up with 19. The same way you can do a backward fill as well. 889th row, it was 26. So you can fill it up with 26. A little more analytic approach to it is to take the mean or median. Like in age, we had 177 null values. We can take other age values and take the mean and median from them and fill up these 177 null values. So that's what I'm doing here. So titanic.age.fillNA. So I'm doing titanic.age.median. That way I get the median of age and in place equals to true. You can see this time I get the median 28. So all 177 null values will be 28 now. So I'm using median here. If you want, you can use mean. We can take it a little further. Instead of taking the mean and median from all the people's age, we can take the subgroup of people and take mean and median of them. What I'm doing here, I'm doing titanic.group by. I'm passing passenger plus and alive and then age.mean. So what it's doing here is I'm getting if the passenger class is 1 and person is not alive, the mean is 40. If passenger class 1 and person is alive, the mean age is 34. Same passenger class 2, 
person is not alive, mean age 33, passenger plus 2, and alive. In that case, the mean is 25. Uh, instead of putting uh, this 28 to all 177, I can take these subgroups and fill up the null values of that group with this group mean. Uh, we can take even a step further, like p class dot alive and sex. If passenger class 1, not alive and female, the mean is 25. Passenger class 1, alive and female is 34. And if it's male, then it's 35. And here you can see passenger class 1, not alive, male, 41. So it's even more granular. I can take these granular ones and transform our age with this one. So as you can see, this is our titanic.age and I'm going to use this granular uh, mean now. So titanic.age fill in A, then I take this granular mean and this time I put this transform, transform.mean. In that case, now what will happen, you can see 888 though that was null, it becomes 23.81. If you want to round it, please feel free to round it. You can just have a round function here and put a parenthesis. Let me just do it right now. So you can see I just rounded it up so it becomes 24 right now. So all this time I worked with this age variable, which is a continuous variable. You can do pretty much the same thing with a categorical variable as well. So we had some null values in Embark Town as well. So you can see the Embark Town. It's here. So first you need to make them numeric. Titanic.embark town, titanic.embark town.as type category, and then dot cat dot codes. This is going to make it numeric. For each of the values, it will take one numeric value like one, two, and three. So once this is done, you can exactly do the same thing as I did with the age. Here I am taking passenger class alive, and as I did before, let's include sex as well. Please notice I used median here. Because this is a categorical variable, I thought median would be more appropriate. And finally, you can use a machine learning model to replace your null values. On a very high level, the idea is to use the prediction power of the machine learning model. The way we predict the values using the machine learning model, you can use the same prediction method to predict the value for the null values. So here we need to import uh, enable iterative computer from sklearn.experimental and then sklearn.impute import iterative imputer and then as the machine learning model I'm using here random forest regressor. As I discussed random forest in my last video, you can use any other machine learning model of your choice. This time, instead of using the whole Titanic dataset, I am just taking a subset of it, only taking few columns. And if you remember, in the age column and in Embarktown column, we had null values. Now we call iterative imputer. You pass the random forest regressor. I am using max iter 10 and random state of 0. You can use any other integer of your choice. And then uh, imputer dot feed transform you pass this titanic one that i created here and for columns you have to put the name of the columns of your data set so i am doing titanic one dot columns that's going to give you the name of the columns also i use this pd dot data frame to convert it to data frame again so this is our titanic two where we have all the null values replaced with the values that are predicted by this random forest regressor. Okay, if you remember this 888 rows age value was null and now it is 31. Let's check once again if there is any null values left. I'm sure there is no, but still. The titanic 2.isNull.sum you see we have zero null values in all the columns. These are all the tips that I wanted to share to handle null values in any data set. Hope this was helpful. Please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.